food on your base face. All right, let's go. Basement, basement, basement. Those fingers play the bass, the low notes on four strings. Low, low, how low can you go? 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 Okay, let's dance to some jazz. Yeah, let's strum the 
those guitars. Down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I wanna rock with you. I wanna play with you. I wanna rock with you. Super good, so yeah. I 
Welcome to Music with Meg. 
I'm Meg and I'm here to introduce you to the wonderful world of music. It's time to have some fun, music with Meg. It's time to sing along, music with Meg. Instruments, will we meet? What will we learn about this week? Everybody follow me, it's music with Meg. Every week, I'm going to introduce you to a new instrument. So. Let's see what instrument we've got to meet today. This is my violin. My violin is a member of the strings family. And can you guess what my violin's made of? Let's have a listen. What material is that? That's right, my violin is made of wood. In fact, my violin is made of 70 different pieces of wood. Now let's take a closer look at the different parts of my violin. The top of the violin is called the scroll and below that we have the pegs which we use to tune the violin. We need to tune to make sure that we're all playing the same note. Just like you, my violin has a neck and on top of my violin's neck is a long black fingerboard which we use to change the note. Below that we have the wooden bridge, the tailpiece and the chin rest. Can you guess what part of your body the chin rest goes underneath? Finally we have the F holes. Let's take a closer look. These F holes is where the sound of the violin comes from. When the string wobbles, the sound travels through the F holes and into your ear. Finally, we have the strings. There are four strings on my violin. Should we count them together? One, two, three, four four strings and they all have different names. This is G, this is D, this is A and this is E. Cool. To play my violin I need to use my bow. This is my bow. It's made of wood and horse's hair. What sound do horses make? <laughs> To make a good sound with my bow, I need to use rosin. String players put rosin on their bows to make them sticky. The horsehair needs to stick to the strings to make a sound. Now let's have a listen to all the different ways I can play the violin. I can play smooth and legato. <laughs> I can play bouncy and staccato. I can turn my bow upside down and play col legno. I can play tremolo, which is really, really fast. <gasps> the violin is the highest pitched instrument in the strings family, and that means that the violin often has the tune. You can hear violins in lots of very, very famous pieces of music. You can hear the violin in this song. And if you listen really carefully, you might hear the violin in this song. But perhaps one of the most famous songs of all for the violin is a song by a composer called Vivaldi. Now this song is all about a certain season. Have a listen and see if you can guess what season he's writing about. Week. See if you can
can hear a violin in the music that you listen to. Okay, let's recap what we learnt today. We learnt that the violin is the highest pitched member of the strings family. We learnt that the violin has four strings. Can you remember what they were called? G, D, A and E. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you know when my video comes next week. But for now, it's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from the violin.